Welcome to Concept Learn. And the next topic is harvesting and the threshing. When we do the harvesting at a time, we should averagely calculate the crop duration and also observe the harvest symptoms in the crop. Generally, the bajra crop is the harvest when the leaves and the stalks become yellow colored or the straw colored and the grains become hard and the firm in nature. And the most important point is the grain should contain the moisture percentage of 20% which is suitable for the harvesting conditions. Okay, At the time of harvest, the grain percentage should be grain moisture percentage should be 20% and harvesting method. A vidanga harvesting jesarante bajralo. Generally, kondar farmers emo entire crop will be harvested at a time and the ear heads will be separated afterwards. Kani kondar aim jesarante. First, they will be harvesting the harvested produce and the economical produce that is this ear heads and then they will be cutting the plants later on. After the harvesting or the cutting of the ear heads, these ear heads are taken to the threshing yard or the threshing floor and then they are dried under the sun in order to reduce the moisture percentage. Because at the time of the harvest, the moisture percentage is 20% but it is not suitable for the storage purpose. It should be reduced to the less than 15% or 12% in order to store the grains. So, after the harvest, the ear head should be taken to the threshing floor and sun dried in case of an bajra. After the drying of the ear heads in the sunlight, the grains are to be separated from the ear heads by beating against the hard surfaces or it should be beaten with the sticks. In the similar case, and the diagram lo chupishna to threshing ganedi, sorghum lo itla sticks to kottadam gani leka poti, it can be trampled under the foot of the cattle. Okay, Ila chedam valla ear heads lo unna grains anevi will be get separated and it is easy for the calculation of the yield. After the grains are threshed, if there is any moisture content, it should be reduced to the less than 12% for the storage of the grains in order to reduce the seed borne pests and the diseases. Okay, threshing aina tarvata grains la moisture unna taiti, we should dry in the sunlight in order to reduce the moisture to the less than 12% for the safe storage. And after the harvesting and the threshing, the yield, the yield in case of an rain fed will be very low compared to the irrigated conditions. In case of an rain fed conditions, the yield obtained is 12 to 15 quintals per hectare in case of an grain. Compared to the dry matter, the yield obtained in case of an rain fed is 70 to 75 quintals per hectare. Dry matter ante nothing but stock, stocks or straw in case of rice wheat. Okay. And under irrigated condition, the grain yield obtained is 30 to 25 quintals per hectare, which is more compared to the rain fed conditions. And double that of rain fed conditions, the irrigated conditions of grain yield is 30 to 35 quintals per hectare. That is dry matter, 100 quintals per hectare. Okay. That is rain fed conditions of 70 to 75 quintals per hectare. Irrigated conditions of more than rain fed that is 100 quintals per hectare. 